A surprising move by the pharmacy chain CVS it just announced it will no longer sell cigarettes and tobacco products in, st in stores nationwide. The move takes effect at more than 7,600 stores come October 1st. Chief business correspondent Christine Romans is here with more. This is surprising. It's big news. It's a big pharmacy chain, and this company is saying that selling cigarettes and tobacco products not consistent with what it does as a health care chain, a pharmacy chain. Here's what the CEO is saying. He's saying ending the sale of tobacco products is the right thing for this company to do for their customers, for their company to help people on their path to better health. Put simply, and here I think is really the salient point from the CEO, the sale of tobacco products is inconsistent with our purpose. That's Larry, Larry Merlo who runs that company. And the President of the United States this morning, a former smoker, coming out and saying, good work, CVS, good work, Larry Merlo, and he hopes that more people follow suit. The harsh reality, though, for Larry is also is the purpose of his company is also to make money. Right, and it's about how two, much of a hit is this? Are they going to take? For they're this? going to be saying no, thank you to about two billion dollars a year from smokers who buy uh, uh, tobacco products from CVS pharmacies. But look, that is a smaller and smaller customer base every year. In 1965, 42 percent of Americans were smokers. Today, it's 19 percent. Uh, so you can see the growth in this economy. The growth for these markets is for smoking cessation products, which mm -hmm. CVS is going to do. So they'll keep uh, those, right? right yeah. For these small clinics where they're giving. Flu shots, where they're, these minute clinics they have, where they're giving health care advice, where they're keeping people healthy as we get older, many of us get older and need more health care, not by selling these products.